Now they made it even higher. So the whole area over here, they put the fence up. And even though I just want to show the officer just came by and cannot film me, I guess so. I'm going there, I just got my bike. No problem. Welcome to beautiful downtown Los Angeles. One more time. I'm doing an update about the Ocean White Plaza Towers and the deadline approach already. So I think this is now in the city hand and they're supposed to start cleaning the graffiti. But so far I did not see anything. I just wanted to give you guys an update. There's a fence going up right now, a metal fence. I'm gonna show you in a minute. And people always say, Mike, how do you get your information? Yesterday I was just driving around trying to get like uh, footage for the Michael Jackson biopic. I don't really know where they film. So I'm just driving around. Sometimes I'm lucky and I find a spot, but today I'm here to get an update and it always takes time. People think, oh, he just drives there. Took me like half a day or like a day to film all this. So there's a lot of time involved just driving around, finding something and uh, hopefully I'm gonna give you a good update today. The next convention here is the Vive. And look, they're using graffiti to promote their thing. So I don't really know what kind of convention that is, but they're using graffiti. Police still watching. And I can tell they already put some new ones up. All those on top, the four big letters, they're all brand new. Here is one of the raggedy fans where it's really easy with a bolt cutter to cut a hole in there. But check this out. See now they have security inside behind the fence. So I actually know somebody who got in here yesterday and he got stopped by the security inside the building. So not only is the police outside the building watching, they also got security inside the building so if you even make it over the fence you still have to deal with the security inside the building so when you look at the fence a few of the guys they actually squeezed right in here they cut this off and it's really easy to squeeze in between the fence but check this out this is the newest edition they just put up yesterday and this is not flimsy this is really really hard so and it's kind of thick too look how thick it is so they're mounted right here on the ground and this is how high the fence used to be before now they made it even higher so the whole area over here they put the fence up and even though i just want to show the officer just came by and cannot film me i guess so I'm going there, I just got my bike. No problem. So I'm not even allowed to be on that side to film. You just saw it. But look how tall that fence is. It's pretty thick too. And what? That's the first one I've seen here right here. Oh my goodness. Elon Musk. God. It's the first time I see it in person. Look at those wheels. Wow. It doesn't even have like lights on the side. That's the cyber truck. Almost looks like a DeLorean time machine a little bit. What? How can I get so excited to see one? So anyway, this is the new fence. They're gonna put all the way around the three buildings. So the fence is really thick. You can't really like cut it with a bow cutter. You have like a flamethrower or something to open it up, but it's pretty high too. So you can't really reach it, but who knows? They always find a way. Now they're talking about me and me just being over there, shaking the fence and just filming it. <laughs> I mean, uh, I wish the Cubs that know me would be here, but 
they're not here so they don't know what I'm doing so they probably thought I'm trying to get in there well they see the guy in there and they say there's nobody supposed to be in there but the guy's security at least he looks like security and I know from a friend of mine that they do have security in there now they tell him him to get out He's right over there, see? So the police doesn't even know that there's a security guy in there. Well, they just told me a minute ago that's not safe standing right there. And now there's four people standing there. When two people do the same thing, it's actually not the same thing. Well, that would be genius if you would dress up as a security officer and just go spray inside. I can't believe the police don't know. More police arriving. See, you never know what's going to happen in downtown. I'm glad I came down here to try to do an update video. Is that the sergeant or lieutenant? Meanwhile, they're standing here. Somebody could actually walk over there and get in there. <laughs> Now they want his credential or his ID. So they probably don't know what to do right now. So they started with the fence over here. This part is done already. And this one is still the old fence. And all this is the new fence. Well, let's check out if they did anything on the other side. They definitely did not start cleaning yet. You know how long is that gonna take to clean all this? There's lots of water in there too from the rain last couple days. Now that it's daylight, you can see all the graffiti I put from the inside, mirror image. I didn't even see those at night. Nothing done on this fence so far. Really easy to climb this one here. I believe this is the next area where they're gonna start putting the big fence up. Bacon wrapped hot dogs. Even though the Kings are playing today, they got all the Laker merchandise out. Looks like those kids having a good time because the street is closed off. This is real love, sharing the scooter with your girlfriend. Well, I don't have much space to share it unless the girl wants to sit in front of my steering wheel here. See all the graffiti from the inside? Even up there. But looks like nothing happened on this side either yet. So it's probably gonna take a long time to put all that stuff up here. What's going on now here? somebody put this frame up here artwork for sale fine art 
is it one million? One million dollars. It's actually a really nice frame here. Wow. I like the frame. Well, here you have it. One million dollars. Get you a fine art piece like this. 2024. Pretty colorful for sure. And since they don't get in there anymore, a lot of people still right on the building right next to it here. But they tried to clean it many times already, but everything is full of graffiti on that side too here. There's not much more I can show you here. We'll see what I'm gonna do with the rest of the day. Maybe I drive around a little bit downtown. Maybe I go to 6th Street Bridge. I'm not sure yet. I gotta have enough footage to upload a video tonight. So I guess I can't say anything if I ride my bike here. So this is the only area they started working on here. ride my bike all the way to downtown LA. I put it in my car. Pulled it up. I also got my scooter in there. And that's it. Try to do three good deeds a day. This is number one for me right here. I'm leaving somebody 43 minutes on the meter. I wanted to go to the Santi Alley and walk around there a little bit, but I believe they close at five. We'll see. Here I am back on Venice Boulevard. When I go to downtown, sometimes I take Venice all the way down because the traffic is less than being on the 10 freeway. See, there's a hospital patient and visitor public parking. You can go all the way up and from there you got a really good view over downtown LA. I've been up there a few times. I might have to do it again for a good video. They painted over the really cool Kobe artwork. That one was also Kobe. scared him yeah I'm on Main Street now and all the stores are closed at 5 what's up Nipsey looks almost like Hollywood Boulevard I put some stars up here every door is graffitied up can you see that full moon is out nice we're filming inside the building here. That makes a really nice picture with that old light pole. Are you showing her my video on YouTube? Yeah, this is the GIV. And that's where you click to subscribe to the channel. Ah, okay. You definitely got to bring time when you want to drive at 5 o'clock in downtown LA. Traffic is horrendous. I try to speak proper English. Horrendous. Sounds much better than, well, it's crazy to drive here. Yeah, you're definitely faster with your skateboard. That's what Casey Neistat does in New York all the time. Ah, oh, this is the old Cecil Hotel here. Let's take 6th Street to the bridge. We'll see what's going on there. Yeah, stores are closed here too. Going to the 6th Street Bridge, you have to go to Skid Row.
it's always nice going over the bridge i think i'm going to park somewhere here i'm going to ride my bike over it we'll see if they change anything here This is the industrial area close to 4th Street. Twin Tower Jail. Oh, they put all those barricades here before you could drive your car right there. That's Los Angeles here. You can take some really cool pictures here. Uh-oh, what is he doing down there? Can't really ride your bike here. Too much glass everywhere. Right, look at this picture here. This is actually my favorite spot to come here. Sometimes they got those yellow locomotives here. You can see downtown really cool, even with the sunset. Sometimes the sun sets behind the buildings. This is also a good picture here. People hang out here and chill and watch the sunset. I really like this train here. Looks like it's been a while since they cleaned this place up here. For some mices, are there any mice out here or rats? They just put this fence up here before you could walk over here. You probably think I'm crazy that I like a picture like this. Wow, there's people that are living down here. I put a huge tent up here. Yeah, 
Yeah, you really need that barbed wire in this area here. The homeless down here, they made like a little key to open up the water for them to drink. Smells like they're doing the fire down there. The doors are closing on your business. They still got in there and tatted everything up. It is actually really nice just to stand here and look at downtown and thousands of things go through your head. Well, at least I got some really good pictures today. I'm really happy about that. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from downtown Los Angeles. Not the safest place to be around, I believe, but uh, you got to provide some content sometimes, right? If you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to The German in Venice. Thank you for hanging out with me and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video as much as me doing this video. Anyway, I see you later. That's the 4th Street Bridge right here. Tschüssing!